Europe has one of the highest life expectancies in the world. We're all living longer, and on average, women live six years longer than men. But here's another statistic. In terms of healthy life expectancy, women average only 18 months longer than men. The health of women as they get older has been the focus of a hearing organised by the EPP group here in the Parliament. 2012 is the European Year of Active Aging, an initiative that seeks to raise awareness of and help to prevent the many diseases affecting people as they get older. Age-related illnesses are already a massive burden on Europe's public health services, and with the EU's population ageing rapidly, it's a burden that could increase dramatically. Roberta Angelilli, an Italian member of our group and a vice president of the parliament, opened an EPP group hearing focusing on women and age-related diseases. Women constitute a majority of Europe's population and they also live longer, so we have to provide them with adequate and correct information on the potential issues. Problems and illnesses that can arise in old age, whether they are physical or psychological, but we also need to provide information on ways to prevent these conditions. So much of the political focus in Europe at the moment is on young people because of the economic crisis. So the European Year of Active Aging offers an opportunity to develop creative solutions to the health problems associated with aging, especially for women. And this meeting has highlighted the importance of bringing all stakeholders together. As institutions, we can collect demographic data and statistics, but we need to hear from civil society, from the world of work, from universities. We need information from them that is useful, concrete and based on experience. NGOs like the European Institute of Women's Health work alongside EU efforts to improve the quality of life for women in their later years. Hildren Sunseth, the organization's head of EU policy, was one of the experts participating in the hearing. So what does she want to see from the EU during and after the European Year of Active Aging? It's now an opportunity with this initiative, the European Year, but also the EU 2020 strategy to increase uh, employment uh, by up to 75%. At the moment, for women 50 plus, it's 37% uh, employment, which is just not uh, acceptable, really. So women have a long way to catch up. For many older people, working remains an attractive prospect and the private sector often attaches a high value to the skills and experience they bring to the workplace. Keeping one foot in the world of work is one of the ways older people can remain fit and active. The private sector is therefore an essential partner in the EU's strategy of helping all citizens, but especially women, to live healthier lives in old age. The private sector has an enormous role to play, but I would also say the unions have to be tackled on this issue because uh, retirement age is considered to be 65, whether you're willing uh, to want to continue working, like in my case, I was willing to work another 10 years if I had get, get, been given the opportunity. These are not issues we're going to have to confront in the future. They're issues we have to confront now. And the EPP group, as Europe's largest and most influential political force, will continue to prioritise the health and well-being of Europe's senior citizens. For more information on our group's activities, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.